solar activity. Solar storm from a hole in the sun will hit Earth Wednesday, August 3rd. Thankfully, the storm is classified as weak according to what the astronomers are saying. High-speed solar winds from a hole in the sun's atmosphere are said to hit Earth's magnetic field Wednesday, August 3rd, triggering a minor G1 geomagnetic storm. Forecasters at the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration Space Weather Prediction Center, SWPC, made the prediction after observing that gaseous material is flowing from the southern pole in the sun's atmosphere, according to space weather. Coronal holes are areas in the sun's upper atmosphere where our star's electrified gas or plasma is cooler and less dense, and such holes are also where the sun's magnetic field lines, instead of looping back in on themselves, beam outwards into space. This enables solar material to surge out in a torrent that travels at speeds of 1.8 million miles an hour, according to the Exploratorium the Science Museum in San Francisco. On planets with strong magnetic fields like ours, this barrage of solar debris is absorbed, triggering geomagnetic storms, auroras, and during these storms, the Earth's magnetic field gets compressed slightly by the waves of highly energetic particles. These particles trickle down magnetic field lines near the poles and agitate molecules in the atmosphere, releasing energy in the form of light to create colorful auroras, similar to the ones that make up the northern lights. The storm produced by this debris will be weak as G1 geomagnetic storm. It has the potential to cause minor fluctuations in power grids and impact solar satellite fluctuations, including those for mobile devices and GPS systems. It will also bring the aurora as far south as Michigan and even Maine. And more extreme geomagnetic storms can disrupt our planet's magnetic field, powerful enough to send satellites tumbling to Earth. We previously reported reports scientists have warned that extreme geomagnetic storms could even cripple the internet, debris that erupts from the sun or coronal mass ejection CMEs usually take around 15 to 18 hours to reach Earth according to Space Weather Prediction Center. This storm comes as the sun ramps up into its most active phase of its roughly 11 year old uh, long cycle. Astronomers have known since 1775 that solar rise activity rises and falls in cycles, but recently the sun has been more active than expected, with nearly double the sunspot appearances predicted by NOAA. Scientists anticipate that the sun's activity will steadily climb for the next few years, reaching an overall maximum in 2025 before decreasing again. A paper published July 20th in journal Astronomy and Astrophysics proposed a new model for the sun's activity by separately counting sunspots in each hemisphere, a method the paper's researchers argue could be used to make more accurate solar forecasts. Scientists think that the largest solar storm ever witnessed during contemporary history was in 1859, the Carrington event, which released roughly the same energy as 10 billion one megaton atomic bombs. After slamming into the earth, the powerful stream of solar particles fried telegraph systems all over the world and caused auroras brighter than the light of the moon, the full moon, to appear as far south as the Caribbean. If a similar event were to happen today, scientists warn it would cost trillions of dollars in damage and trigger widespread blackouts, much like the 1989 solar storm that released a billion-ton plume of gas and caused a blackout across the entire Canadian province of Quebec, NASA reports. This is by Ben Turner on Live Science. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.